I think that they've but it's been quite reactive over the last five, six years. I think that they've reacted to situations rather than thinking, what are we? That's the thing in football, what are we? What are we as a club? Whatever club that is. What's our values? What are our principles? What do we do? And pretty much stick to that because it's worked through history. And this club's got one of the richest traditions in terms of how it plays, how it behaves, what it does. It brings youth players through, it gives an opportunity to youth players. It's been built on that for 70 years. You can't stop that. There has also been a, a massive bias towards attacking football, even though there have been times where the club will be pragmatic in certain games, it plays with attacking, attacking mentality. And thirdly, the club has to win. It's a big club, it has that expectation of winning. So you've got to look at those three things and stick to them. And if you stick to them and think, does the new manager, does, does the player fit that profile? Does the manager fit that profile? Do the coaching staff fit that profile? Do the sponsors that they bring into the club fit the values and principles? Once you start veering away from your values and principles as a football club, you then end into sort of what would be strange territory and you have a problem. So I think the club does need to reset. Uh, I think the club is, a, is an amazing football club. It's absolutely a magic place. It's wonderful to be part of it. It's wonderful to support it. it the trials and tribulations. And in the last few years, I've said quite a few occasions, you can walk over into that stadium over there and you can win, you can lose, you can draw, but you can't be bored. And there have been times whereby there's been that sort of drained feel, that feeling of, and that's, that can't happen. There has to be that expectation when you walk into the ground. The thing is about Manchester United fans, they were patient with Jose Mourinho to the end, patient with the players to the end, they always will be. They're not in a rush. You know, you might get on social media, there's a desperation of a sort of what would be a new wave of fan that sort of says, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. But actually, the core of the support of Manchester United are not in a rush. They're here forever. They'll wait to get it right. If you said to them, let's reset, let's do things correctly for the next three or four years, and in time, we'll build a platform for five, six, seven, eight, ten years of success, that's fine, no problem. Everyone will buy into that. So Alex Ferguson didn't achieve straight, straight away at Manchester United, but what he was doing was putting the building blocks in place. And it takes time, and the manager, that's just left Jose Mourinho wasn't able to stay for longer than two and a half years. In fact, I think he was an appointment to brought in to, to win immediately, which again is not near necessarily the actual essence of Manchester United. Idea of a sort of desperation appointment. Jose doesn't, if you like, fit the principles of United in the sense of how he's always been at other clubs. He comes in normally for two or three years, does a job, wins, and then he tends to leave. That's fine. Two or three years is a long time to be manager at a football club, and he has been the most successful manager along with Pep Guardiola. But this club's built on more built differently than that. It is built differently and it needs to go back to that. That doesn't mean, say, harping back to Sir Alex Ferguson or going back to bringing loads of young players through. That's just about the three values. Try and get young players through where you can. Play entertaining football that's always got as you on the edge of your seat and then the victories will come if you do the right things.